Hi, everyone, and welcome to this chapter of the Free Full Stack course. In this chapter, we're going to install PyEnv on Windows 11. If you've just landed on this chapter without following along chronologically with the other chapters in this course, I highly recommend that you actually check out the playlist uh, whose link I've added to the bottom of the screen in the description section. But if you just want to be able to install PyEnv on Windows 11 by following the instructions in this chapter, you're more than welcome to also stay in this chapter. PyEnv is a utility that is very helpful for keeping a tab on the version of Python that you're running on your operating system. As you know, you can have multiple versions of Python running simultaneously on your computer. And when we then start developing our backend, it becomes very important to ensure that you're actually using the correct version of Python for our backend. And that's why we need to install PyEnv on our computer. So let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing that we're going to do is to start PowerShell as an administrator, because some of the commands that we're going to run in this chapter require that you're an, you're an admin. So let me do some screen reshuffling in here. Let's see if I can get this right. So let's go to PowerShell. So if you search for PowerShell in your um, after you start searching in here, you can then just right click on it and say run as administrator. So let's just go ahead and do that. Then we have a PowerShell in here, as you can see. I'll see if I can change the font size. Let's see if I can find the properties in here. And let's say we have cursor size font. Let's go maybe for 36. So it's a little bit more readable. OK, so here we have our PowerShell running as an administrator. OK. So I happen to paste actually the URL that we're going to visit right now, which is for the next task that we need to do, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. PyEnv itself res uh, resides inside a GitHub repository. And for Linux, as you've seen in the previous chapter, and also for Mac OS, we've gone into this repository and just installed PyEnv without problem. When it comes to installation of PyEnv on Windows, especially Windows 11, we're going to use a fork of PyEnv called PyEnv Win, as you can see on the screen. And this fork makes it a lot easier to install PyEnv on a Windows machine. So if you're adventurous, you're more than welcome to go ahead and install PyEnv as it is on GitHub. But I highly suggest that you actually install PyEnv Win, as I'm going to show you here. So let's go ahead and open this URL in here. So let me see if I can bring it up. So as you can see here, this is the repository for PyEnv Win, which is a fork of PyEnv, as I've mentioned before. And there's lots of instructions in here how you can actually install it. So instead of me putting all the instructions and duplicating all the instructions at the bottom of the screen, let's just go ahead and install PyEnv for Windows by following the instructions in the repository itself. I've already installed PyEnv on my computer, but I hope that the commands that we're going to execute are going to be uh, going through just as well had I not installed PyM from before. OK, so let's go ahead in here. As you can see in here, it says the easiest way to install PyM win is to run the following install installation command. However, if you've never done that before, then you're going to get probably unauthorized access. And that's because you haven't run your um, shell as an administrator. So I'm going to just take this command, as mentioned here. As you can see, set execution policy. Just select this whole thing, and I'm going to press Control and C uh, on my keyboard in order to copy it. Or you could just say right click and then copy. And then we're going to go into the PowerShell, which we've opened as an administrator, and then just right click in here in order to paste it. So then I'm going to say yes to all. You can either say yes in here or A for yes to all. So I'm just going to respond with A. And that's it. So now we've executed that command. And after, after doing that, we can then go ahead and actually install a PyM for Windows. So I'm just going to copy this command in here and go back to PowerShell. Then I'm going to right click in here in order to paste that same command and then press Enter. So then I'm going to do let it do its installation. And for you who hasn't installed PyEnv on Windows, this installation is actually going to take a while to do its work. But I've already installed it. And you can see PyEnv for Win version 3 is already installed on my computer. So I don't have to actually do anything special. But for you, after running the previous command for the execution policy, you should be able to just copy and paste the command for the installation of PyEnv, which is right here, as you can see. 
PowerShell. So after doing that uh, command and installing PyAmp, we have um, we have a few things also to do, and that is adding PyAmp to our path. So we're not really done yet. There are four commands in here, which you have to copy and paste as well. So let's go ahead and take the first one. So I'm just gonna press Command and C, or sorry, Control and C on my Windows computer, and then go back to PowerShell and then right click in order to paste that. So let's paste it now. Then I'm gonna take the second one, copy it, and then paste it in here. And then let's take the third one, copy it, and then paste it and press enter. Okay, do it clear. And then I'm gonna take the fourth one, copy it, and then paste it in here. Okay, so this is just gonna add PyM and all the required shims and all the required PyM paths to your uh, environment variables, instead of you having to go to uh, system uh, preferences and, and changing those manually. After doing all of this, you should then be able to, I mean, to be completely certain, you can just close your PowerShell and then open up PowerShell again. So I'm just going to say run as administrator in here. And let's then go ahead and type pyenv. And then you should have a pyenv installation in here. So if, if you say which pyenv, actually, we don't have which, I believe, in uh, in PowerShell. I don't really know which command it is in uh, in. Um, Windows, to be honest with you. But if you type pyamp, you should have then a pyamp install and you should be able to get all the commands that pyamp provides for your system. So congratulations, you've now installed pyamp on your computer. We haven't really used pyamp right now. We've just installed it. So the usage of pyamp is going to come in the uh, upcoming chapters. But pyamp is a very, very important component before we actually get started with the backend development, which we're going to use Django for. And Django uses Python. And for the installation of Python, we actually need PyEnv. OK? So that was really all for this chapter. If you have any problems with the installation of PyEnv on your Windows machine, if you're, for instance, using an older version of Windows, please do let me know. I have Windows 11 installed on my computer, so I may not have um, and so I may actually not know about all the problems that might arise if you're using another version of uh, Windows. So please just do it, let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. So that was really all that we had for this chapter and I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, any questions, do let me know and I'll see you in the next one.